All right. Hey guys, what is going on? How are we? I just bumped into something. Um, I can't wait. Let's get started. Today we're going to go over zucchini pasta noodles, how to make it from scratch. Hey guys, so before I even start, um, I need to show you the product that I'm going to be using. I never use this. It's my first time, but I've heard about this because I usually go get like, like pre-cut zucchini noodles and like I really need to stop like I could do it myself because everything that you get pre-cut or pre-made or whatever it's more expensive and there's no need for that so this zucchini plus I think I'm gonna add another one to make it more fulfilling of a pasta dish to use this so this I got in Target uh, I'll send a description I like, will send a link in the description box below it's called a handheld spiralizer so I'm definitely gonna show you how to use it. And um, yeah. So I didn't even know this. Uh, I just looked in the back, that was kinda cool. I could peel it off like that. So before I let you go, so this makes not just zucchini noodles, carrots, potatoes, beets, cu cucumbers. I love beets, by the way, because I make bomb ass like beet smoothies. Awesome. Check out that recipe in the cards below. On that, that was like one of my first videos I ever made on Fork It Up and Anyway, so it's a little bit. Just check it out. <laughs> Excuse my apron, I got it from my grandmother. She makes like, I think her and her sister make like homemade like aprons and stuff. Maybe I'll show the whole thing at the end. Um, so, it's gonna cut up your cucumber. You wanna make sure you get the edges. Just to let you know, this is not a sponsor. I am not sponsoring this product. This product is called Softworks. Just to let you know. And yeah. Alright guys, so first thing first, please excuse my voice. Please excuse it because I have been sick for like a week and a half. I really lost my voice and I'm able to talk but I'm very stuffy. I'm just going to go over right now how to use this thing because it's so simple. You're literally just going to turn on the outer side where all the edges are where the spikes are you're gonna turn the cu cucumber around in circles and it's just gonna get that swirly noodle type of like texture and then what's great is that once you get closer to the end the top actually has like little points where it could like kind of like stab the cucumber and when you're turning it it doesn't like fall out so I think that's great it's really good at least you're not losing fingers nails whatever you're using I hope it's your hands not your feet <laughs> But yeah. Then you're gonna take one avocado. Uh, make sure it's fully ripe. Yes, mine, as soon as I opened it up, it was a little bit brown inside, but I personally don't care about that. But once they start changing in color, that's when you can cut it up. I kind of just waited like two or three extra days. But it honestly tastes just the same, no worries. So you're going to put the avocado in a blender with about three garlic cloves, about one fourth cup of cashews, one and a half teaspoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of basil, a table, two, about two tablespoons of pepper. I like, I like a lot of pepper in my stuff. One tablespoon of salt. And you can just take a half of a lemon and just squeeze the juice out of it. And you can just blend everything up. Now, your this is your pesto sauce. I don't know if I told you earlier, but this sauce should look kind of like a creamy texture. So it actually looks like it's like a pesto sauce. It's pretty good, guys. Can't wait till you try it. Then before you cook your zucchini noodles, you're gonna just put a little bit of salt over it. I would put about like, I don't know, maybe like a one-fourth to like two tablespoons of olive oil. Swirl it around.
Then I would chop up some garlic and throw it in there after the pan starts to warm up. Next, I would take the tongs, just really taking the cucumber zucchini noodles and spreading them apart or spreading them out. Uh, let it cook for like 5 to 10 minutes and I would occasionally move it around with the tongs but just let everything sit, let everything sizzle. Um, really brings out the flavor. And voila! Now you got them nice and crisp. Alright guys, so... I really hope you enjoy this, because this is pretty good. Mm. This is banging. Guys, so thank you for watching. Um, hit the like button if you like what I did. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And just stay tuned for another video on Fork It Up with Neely. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Mwah. Bye.